Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn and today I'm very excited to talk about something really, really interesting because it is so applicable. I see so many of you guys struggle with this and that is coming over the top. I know I've touched on this in a couple of other videos, but this one is different because here we're actually talking about our club face and how changing our club face is going to have that chain reaction down into our downswing, top of the backswing into our downswing, that we are gonna stop coming over the top. So this is the beauty of the golf swing. If you tweak something a little bit right here, something is going to happen over here, and that's what we're doing today. So we're focusing on our club face and how our club face and fixing that is going to help us not come over the top and eliminate those slices and hit some amazing little baby draws and make some consistent contact. So let's do it. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment and subscribe to this channel. We always love to have you. All right, so we're gonna jump into our club face and how this can impact our coming over the top. Coming over the top is something that's so common and I also, when I get a little off, I struggle with this. So I wanna make sure that you guys understand the chain reactions in the golf swing and why it happens. So coming over the top is something that usually happens to people that have an open club face. So changing your path is one thing and trying to change your path. But if you think about it, if you started with an open club face, if you have an open club face at the top of the backswing, what is the body going to do? It is going to try to shut it every time. Your body and your brain know so much more than you think you do. And that is unfortunate, but it is the truth. And in golf, it is just so true. So you never decided to come over the top. You never made that decision that one morning you're like, oh yes, I'm gonna, today is the day I'm gonna start coming over the top. No, you <laughs> didn't. Your body knew that your face is open and so your body tried to compensate and it tries to shut the face down. So let's, let's do this. So we have an open club face here. You see it's open and I always like to refer to open club faces as if you had a water fall that was coming, you know, obviously from above our club, if, you, if that waterfall would be able to touch the ground and run all the way through to the ground, then your club face is open. If I had a club face like this, see if there was a waterfall, it would really kind of hold the water up. It wouldn't be able to flow through. So this is an open club face. This is a shut club face. And if it's just kind of in the middle, it's square. So that's where we want to go. But today we're here to talk about the mistake of having this open club face right here. So what happens is your body, if it came from the inside now, and this is a pretty good top position right here, you know, it's just that my club face is open. So you don't even have to be low or high or anything. If your club face is open, now, if I came down the right way from the inside, what, what do you see? My club face is wide open. The ball is going to go totally to my right. And at this point, I've had a good backswing, a good top position. I've also dropped it down nicely, a little bit from the inside, but my face is open. So you're still not going to, you literally did 95% correct, but you're still screwed. That's golf. But we're here to <laughs> fix that 5%. So hear me out. Now, when we have this open club face right here, now if we want to get that face squarer to the ball, the body is going to try to come more from the outside because see what happens here. My face is now square-ish. But the problem is that we still have spin. We still have side spin on the ball because when we come from the outside in, we have a path that goes left. And usually it's very hard to time that open face to be square to the ball. So what happens is the face is open, the path is left, and that creates a difference in face to path, which creates the spin. So to fix this, we're going to fix our club face. We're going to square up our club face in the backswing and also in our grip. So number one issue could be the grip. If you have a grip that is too weak, and with that, I mean your right hand is too far over, your club face will be open. And that could be the cause of that open club face in the backswing. So make sure that our grip is good. We want to make sure that these two are friends, our thumb, and our pointer finger here and then we see two knuckles right here and then we're just going to put our right hand and match it match that lifeline right here to that thumb and to that joint and we're done and you see that my hands are balanced on the grip here and that is a solid balanced neutral grip it's not open it's not shut so that's checkpoint number one make sure that you grip it correctly and i have another video on grip which i'll link below for you guys in the description so you guys can go check it out and then what happens is now our club face is square so it really sets us up to have a good square club face on the top some people roll it open in the takeaway that is checkpoint number two make sure that right palm keeps facing the ground 
in your nine o'clock position. We don't want that right palm to be facing forward. See how it's facing forward and my club face is rotated open. We want to make sure that it keeps facing down and that we hinge back, back and up, and then we lift it up. See how that totally neutralized my club face from down the line. And now your body, when I'm coming from the inside a little bit, and when I say the inside in a good way, I'm just dropping it down into that speed slot. And again, good grip. I'm going to my nine o'clock position. My palm is facing down and then I'm hinging it and I go up. Now you really have that compression and your hands are leading and you'll be able to have a good path. And now you can actually swing at it. And if you have an open face because of your grip or because of your takeaway, give it a couple of shots, change, make these adjustments, make this nine o'clock adjustment, make the grip adjustment, make sure your club face, when you look at your video down the line is square, not open, not shut and then give your body a couple of swings to adjust it because it will stop coming over the top because your body in the first place started coming over the top because your face was open. So it needed to shut it. Now it's going to try to do that the first couple of shots and you're going to hit it left and that's okay. But give your body about 20 shots and it will straighten it out. You are going to naturally, without even thinking about it, just like you didn't think about starting to coming over the top, it's going to start coming more neutral. So really give yourself that time Trust your body. Your body knows where you are, even if you don't think you do. So let's hit one right here. Grip is good and neutral, nine o'clock position. I'm gonna hinge backwards. I'm not gonna roll the face open. And that is such a solid shot, guys. It is a joke. So make sure you understand the impact of your club face and your grip and your nine o'clock position to your club face in the top and why that makes you come over the top. So make sure you try this, guys. I think this is super helpful because it makes a lot of sense. We're here to learn. We're here to understand why things are happening in the golf swing because that is what allows you to fix yourself when you're out there on the course. And we can't call me up and be like, yo, Coach Carolyn, what the hell am I doing? So thanks so much for joining me today. This was super fun and I can't wait to see you next time.